What's up guys? It's been a very long time, it feels like anyways, um, since I've come to you. And I just kind of want to tell you what's going on. We finally got into our house. Um, as you can tell, there's the tank back there. And the stand and the live rock. Well, <laughs> dead as hell rock. Uh, we were homeless for quite some time. A lot of things happened in life that have been just absolutely, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Uh, but we're finally in our new house, um, reporting to you in my new garage. Um, we're finally in the house and I got permission from the wife to set up a very sizable fish tank. <laughs> um, she didn't really want me to go forward with having a humongous tank at first, but you know, she understands my passion for the hobby and you know, what it means to me and anyways. So I'm going to be setting up a fish tank anywhere between 240 gallons to 300 gallons, depending on what I can find. Um, it might be smaller. I'm not sure. I got to figure out which direction I want to go as far as sourcing a tank. Um, I'm not going to build a tank. I'm going to buy a tank and a stand. Um, I've been through the process of building tanks and stands and I'm just kind of over it, to be honest with you. Um, but that's what's going on. I'll show you guys in a future time where the, the large tank is going to go. But I figured I'd throw something up here because I kind of want an, an opinion on what you guys think I should do with this uh, innovative marine tank. Um, it's that all-in-one um, tank. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of curious. I'm not going to set this up as like a main display tank. I want to do something more kind of outside of what I've normally done. I've always been an SPS dominated tank kind of a guy. Um, I've been thinking of going all Zoas with this. I've been thinking of going planted tank with this it, with this uh, system. And I just kind of want to throw it out there and let you guys know I'm still there and start collecting some opinions on what I should do with this innovative marine tank. Um, I don't want to go all SPS with it because this tank is too hard for me personally to take care of as an SPS dominated tank. Um, due in part because all in one, it's not drilled, I don't have a sump, and I'm just not used to it. I, I'm not good at it. As you guys can see, it is dry, there's nothing in it, it's not set up at all. And that's because the tank crashed um, when I was trying to move and keep some of the SPS that I wanted to keep. It crashed, within two days, every single coral was dead. Um, so yeah, the uh, the old tank, the one that I built, I actually ended up donating to one of the uh, local aquarium shops and it was donated then to somebody else that picked it up who I think is watching my YouTube videos. I don't remember who it was, but I would love to see some videos on that tank again. Um, so hopefully, I'm hoping it went to a good home and I hope you get a lot of enjoyment out of it. But let me let me know what you guys think I should do with this tank. I'm just kind of curious. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do, um, but I'd like to do something that you guys would like to see. Um, think outside the box, you know. Uh, planted tank, Alzoa tank, um, something like that, you know. Uh, just let me know, and we'll see you guys in another video. Um, probably when I get a new tank, which should be here in the next. I would say three to four weeks or so I should have the new tank and it's gonna be a hell of a build process um, so it'll make for some good uh, video content unlike this where I'm just staring at rock and a stand and bikes and a dolly and boxes and shit but uh, yeah that new tank is gonna be a heck of a build process everything is gonna be planned out very methodically so I have pretty much the dream setup if you will but uh, anyways I'm going to let you guys go. I've rambled on long enough. Let me know what you guys think I should do with this innovative marine tank, though. It's a 50-gallon tank. Oh, excuse me. It's a 50-gallon tank. And uh, if I get enough, uh, not necessarily votes, but comments saying, you know, do it this way or that way, that's probably the way I'll go because that's what you guys want to see. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the upcoming video. And, uh, yeah, later on.